it is always exciting when people approach us to use Who's Shoes in a new way or around a new topic. We have done loads of work around maternity, but how have maternity services been affected by COVID-19? What has been the experience of women and families having a baby during the pandemic, but also of the staff working in the maternity units? Can sharing experiences and understanding each other's perspectives be cathartic? Can we work together for well-being? This was the vision of Gaynor Armstrong, the inspirational director of midwifery in Coventry. The workshop took many months in planning, trying to create an enjoyable day, a memorable experience for women and families and staff alike, to create the conditions for people to have open and honest conversations with a bit of pampering and lots of time to connect and chat. Thanks to sponsorship from Coventry Building Society, we were able to hold the event in a vibrant, modern community venue, the Coventry Building Society Arena. I had a quick last minute briefing with the table facilitators and we were ready to go. As always, Professor Jacqueline Dunkley-Bent, Chief Midwifery Officer for England, was very supportive and she sent us a wonderful short introductory video to set the scene. Hello, my name's Jacqueline Dunkley-Bent and I'm the Chief Midwifery Officer for the NHS in England. Welcome to this Who's Shoes event. I know you're going to have a ton of fun, but you'll also walk away with some key messages. The COVID-19 pandemic has created unprecedented challenges for our NHS and I want to thank you for your support, your heroism during that time. I know that since the start of the pandemic we have supported the births of some 1,650 babies every single day. That means one baby has been born every 54 seconds. Thank you for all that you have done to provide safe and personal maternity care and thank you to mums and babies for ensuring that we continue to strive for excellence for those that we serve. Now it's your time. If we invest in our people who work in the NHS, then they will invest in those who we serve. Gaynor introduced the event and told us why it was so important. Beings, obviously all of you in the room have experienced it from very different perspectives, either that you've had a baby during this period of time and you may be grieving for the pregnancy and birth that you wished for um, and that you normally would have had. Um, obviously the times have been very challenging as well for all of the staff that are in the room. I think it's been a very difficult time um, with ever-changing um, processes, um, policies, guidelines that came from Public Health England as well as the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynaecologists. We worked very closely with the local Maternity Voices Partnership. Noreen shared an emotive video of women's voices during the pandemic, made by Warwick University. We use poems a lot in Who's Shoes. We started the event with a crowdsourced poem, with people popping up around the room, sharing different perspectives. Mums and dads, a granny, a midwife, a doctor, it would be wonderful to have a full video of this, but it was very informal and spontaneous. Soon the workshop was buzzing with conversation. It was amazing to be back in the room, face to face, particularly with so many parents bringing young babies. One little boy was extremely keen to help Anna, the graphic illustrator. Anna was recording the key themes from the conversations to serve as a way to keep the discussions alive and promote ongoing quality improvement. Shall we take you on tour with us? Yeah. Will you come and help me at every workshop, will you? (laughs) 
a lovely lunch was served and we got the opportunity to cuddle the babies. You'll have to come again. You're going to be my little assistant on tour, yeah? <laughs> you and your mum. We built in various ways to promote well-being, singing along to the NHS Midwifery Ambassadors Choir, a lovely rendition of Over the Rainbow. Lucy from the innovation team supplied virtual reality headsets which give busy staff a chance to take a short break. We also experienced a chocolate meditation with Debbie, one of the midwifery team. If you want to pop your chocolate in your mouth and then close your eyes and just relax your arms just, just comfortably on your legs and I want you to just think about the sensation of the chocolate and how it feels. Notice what it smells like. Four wonderful people from the Leamington Spa and Redditch Chiropractice Clinics came and not only offered their services to attendees, but joined the conversations. They said it was really helpful to hear firsthand from parents and staff about the stresses and challenges of people's lives. Anna talked through her visual record of the event. The key themes she had heard. Had she got them right? Had she missed anything important? It was lovely to see so many people fired up to make pledges, to take responsibility for things that they could do personally to make a difference and to share them. Midwife Henny had made some really lovely hearts for people to write on which I'm sure helped people think about well-being and what we can all do to help each other. So, just a taster of our well-being workshop with the maternity team and local community in Coventry. I look forward to seeing how the ripples from this innovative event help to build further connections and actions for positive change.